With big risks come big rewards. My name is Matt Orline, I'm 30 years old. I'm the co-founder and COO of Megabots. Megabots is a company that is creating a giant fighting robot sports league. Uh, we are taking all of the robots from science fiction, movies, video games that you played as a kid and bringing them to life. So far we've built one complete robot, the Mark II. It's a six ton mech that two people sit inside. It has giant pneumatic cannons for arms and it's powered by hydraulic system. This is a six ton robot. It's about 11 and a half feet tall when it's sitting down and 15 feet tall when it stands up. So this robot was built in about five months total build time. Um, and it's really meant to be a prototype uh, of the Megabot's vision. There are some weapon systems on it. We'll test those later. People often come up to us and they accuse us of just being a bunch of people that are just having fun. Uh, and the response we always say is, we take our fun very seriously. The thing is, this is an entertainment company, uh, and so having fun is part of that. But at the same time, the company needs to make money, and we uh, very seriously want to create a spectacle that the world has never seen before. The reception has been great. We get millions of views on our YouTube videos, uh, and we're really happy uh, about the support our fan base has given us. Uh, we still needed at least one other robot to start a sports league. So the method we used was challenge the other robot that we know of in the world. It's a Japanese robot called the Paradas robot. To challenge them, we created a YouTube video calling them out and saying that we wanted to fight them. A week later, they accepted the challenge and they said that they wanted the robots to have hand-to-hand -hand weapons in addition to ranged weapons. This is as close as we can get to a video game coming to life. But we still want to capture sort of that same sense of danger and excitement that you might feel in playing these video games. From the beginning, we want to create an international sports league of giant fighting robots, and we really think there's a huge potential here. Almost everybody loves giant robots. People have grown up now reading these comic books or watching these movies. So we believe that a generation is sort of trained to expect this to happen. And that's where we think the big opportunity is. When we show people this robot, they immediately know, oh, this is the same giant robot from all of the movies that I've watched as a kid, and I know exactly what it's for. Typically we shoot custom paint cannonballs out of this, but today we're going to mix it up a little. We're going to see what else we can shoot with this robot. And so we're putting some fruit in there instead, even though this is a squash and not a fruit, but whatever. This will work perfectly. Okay. That's as far as it's going to go. Have you done this before? Stick your head where the target is. Down Look down the barrel and just have it aim just like the slightest bit high. It's not going to arc much. Yeah. The first step in starting up the Mark II is turning on its 24 horsepower gasoline engine. So you got to pull the choke out and set the throttle down and turn the key and it comes to life kind of like an old lawnmower. Pretty comfortable once you're sitting in there and you're surrounded by all of these controls and uh, camera monitors. It feels like getting into a fighter pilot. Okay, arming. All right, weapons hot. it actually swivels a little bit. So maybe next time we should aim it more to the left. Yeah, I had that dead nuts on, so I'm thinking if we go like a foot, maybe 16 inches over to the right, I'll 
I'll put my target over there, and then when we get that reaction, I'll go straight in. Yeah, you should hit dead on on the bullseye. side. All right, let's go break stuff. Cool. Beyond finishing the Mark III, we need to have our first giant robot fight and show the world what giant robot combat looks like.